Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour, and in this Show Me How video, I'm going to show you Picasa 3.5's geotagging feature. They've integrated Google Maps and call it the Places Panes. You can view photos on the map, you can add photos to the map, and your geotags follow pictures to web albums. Here I am in Picasa 3.5 and notice that I have one folder selected, my August 200908 folder. The way you see the Places pane now is to click on this red marker called Places. That opens up a whole pane which is just Google Maps. And notice I already have some pictures geotagged. That's what the red markers are. If you used geotagging in previous versions, that information is still here. You just need to look for the red marker rather than the old symbol, which, which looked like this, the cross inside a circle. Now over in the Places panel, as I say, it's just Google Maps. So things that you're used to doing in Google Maps, you can do here. You can view the street view or the satellite or hybrid or terrain. You can zoom in and you can zoom out and you can search for places. The red markers do represent where a photo has been geotagged. If you click on the red marker you will see a tiny thumbnail of the picture. Click on the picture and it will then show up over in your library click on another one, you see the thumbnail, click on the picture. Now in this location, notice it says I have three photos here. So when I click on that one little thumbnail, I will see three photos over in my library. To go back to seeing all photos in my library, click Back to View All. And I'll click back on 200908, because now I want to show you how to add a photo. These are our travels for this, this summer, and we went to lots more places than you see on the map. So one of the special places was Roosevelt's Presidential Museum. I can just, just find the picture. I'll search for Roosevelt, and there's one of them. And to add that to the map now, I need to search for Hyde Park, New York. And notice it found it, and it says, do you want to put the photo here? Well, maybe, but I want to zoom in a bit and make sure I'm right at the Presidential Museum. So I can, I can scroll around, and there I see FDR Drive. I'll bet that's it. So you click on the green marker, and then it follows your hand, and click where you want to put it, put photo here, OK. When you're done geotagging a picture, you can click the X to close the Places panel, and I would go back to View All. So let me show you how you do that again with a couple more pictures, and you can select more than one. We also visited the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland this summer, so I'm going to click on that picture of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I'm going to control click on the second picture of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and then I'll click on Places. I want to search for Cleveland, and it takes me to the middle of Cleveland, but I want to zoom in and see if I can find actually where the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I might need to go into satellite view to be sure I have the right spot. Okay, that's definitely it right there. So I'll click on the green arrow and come down here and click right at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Put two photos here. OK. And close my Places pane. Now a real wonderful thing is when you upload these to your web albums, the location will go along with you. So I'm going to go to my web albums, but I already have lots of geotagged photos in my web albums. I'm going to show you. I click on Web Albums. And I'm going to show you this album called Geek's Summer Tour. This is just a, a small collection of all the photos we've taken this whole summer. 
When you're looking at an album, over on the right, you will see photo locations in a map. If you click on View Map, you will see a larger size map. And is this a great way to share your travels or what? Here's all your pictures over on the left. Here's their locations. You don't even have to write an email to your friends to say, look at this picture we were at. They know. You would click on the picture there, and you get a bigger size of it. Any captions also follow. And you can even just do a slideshow right here. And that is geotagging in Picasa 3.5.